We all need good strategies that lead to positive, productive relationships with the people in our lives. And since we cannot be with your kids in our clubs right now, we developed this video series to share our favorite youth development tips and tricks with you. Parents, this isn't easy. Supporting your children right now with their emotional needs, their social needs, and schoolwork is a lot. And if this wasn't hard enough, don't forget that you're human too. You also have emotions, work, housework, and social needs. Overwhelmed? We get it. We wanna share some tips with you that we've heard from parents like you on what they're doing to make this work, stay sane, and create meaningful relationships with their children during the shutdown. First, accept that this is a new experience for all of us. No one has the answers right now because none of us have been here before. That's okay. It's okay not to know. Give yourself some grace. Be patient with yourself. Take a breath. Second, make time to become aware of your own emotions, frustrations, and anxieties. Name them, write them down. Being able to identify what you're feeling will help you better manage your emotions. The same is true for your kids, but you've got to master this one first. Show them how it's done. Once you've identified and named your emotions, practice self-care, however that might look for you. Third, believe in your ability and your children's ability to overcome this new season. Your children will imitate what they see and feel from you. If your child is really struggling to control their emotions, instead of disciplining them for having emotions and not knowing what to do about them, see if you can help them navigate their emotions in healthy ways. This might include writing, drawing, or acting out how they feel if they're younger. This might include talking with someone they trust if they're older. Kids need to see adults practicing self-care in the face of their emotions. Show your kids healthy practices and ask them to work on ways to discover their own. Fourth, create meaningful moments or rituals to add humor to your time together. Maybe this is a 30 second dance party in the kitchen every hour. Silly challenges to get your whole family active and moving together. Or whatever your family might decide to make their own. Your children will remember this time. What will they remember? We hope your kids will always remember the creative ways your family made it through this hard time, how hard they laughed together, how all of you felt loved and cared for during this time of uncertainty. Here are five things you can do right now to create some much needed and deserved rest. One last thing, as youth development professionals, we know how important this time is for your kids' brain development. Too much screen time can actually have a negative impact on their ability to develop, which can have lifelong implications. It's tempting to let kids stay on screens all day, but do your best to get them off their screens for a while. Healthy brain development is counting on it. You are not alone. Let us know how you and your family are doing and how we can help. Your Boys and Girls Club fam is here with you every step of the way.